you know me and you know this channel, then you'll know that one of my favorite cars of all time is the Jaguar F-Type. It's an incredible looking car that has this uncanny ability to conjure up emotions inside the driver. And every version gives you a different feeling. And that got me to thinking, of all the F-Types, which is the ultimate? Well, the answer on paper is this one. This is the Jaguar F-Type V6S with a manual transmission. Unlike the V8, which some say is too powerful, too unruly, too intimidating, and the entry-level V6, which is too tame, this is smack bang in the middle. And what's more, it doesn't have that namby-pamby automatic gearbox. It's a proper driver's car with a stick shift. So it should be perfect, right? Well, unfortunately not. You see, this car is a massive, massive disappointment. Now, for real, I wouldn't touch this with a barge pole. There are a couple of good things, of course. It's an F-Type, so it's stunning to look at. I'll let you in on a bit of a secret. I'm not a fan of the color green, and as patriotic as I am about British cars, not even British racing green really appeals to me. But on this, wow, it's, it's stunning. I'm convinced the F-Type would look good in pink polka dots. It's just a work of art. The inside is gorgeous too. It's worth talking about the driving position actually. The F-Type is mostly bonnet. The bonnet is just super, super long. You sit inside it and you're almost in the back of the car. It's like an enormous penis on wheels and you and your passenger are kind of like the balls just dragging along in a good way. Can I say that? The rest of the cabin is really special. I've talked before about how the cockpit is very driver focused with this half containing all the stuff you need to get on with business and the passenger half just having a handle for your passenger to hold on to. Plus you've got these really well designed switches, the pop up vents and the climate control knobs that have the best action in the business. It kind of ticks all the boxes until you hit the start button and pull away. See, here's the problem. The auto box was brilliant. Sure, it let you drive around in automatic mode, but it also gave you exactly what gear you wanted when you wanted it with the flappy paddles behind the steering wheel. You literally pull the left one, change down. Pull the right one, change up. And it did it nearly instantly. It was brilliant. Manual boxes are supposed to be great, but this particular one just doesn't impress me. Every gear change feels almost like you're bludgeoning a new hole rather than slicing precisely into a ready-made slot. Don't get it wrong, I'm not anti-manual. Some sports cars do get it right. The manual box in the Audi R8, for example, is fantastic. But this thing, I just expect more. More important than the feel is the fact that this janky little stick in the middle robs performance. The automatic car, 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. This thing, 5.5, nearly half a second slower. It's even slower than the entry level V6 car, and that's 7,000 pounds cheaper. How are you gonna feel when you pull up to some traffic lights and get blown away by someone in a cheaper, less powerful F-Type? You could argue that you're doing real driving, but the guy in the auto won't be able to hear you because he'll have disappeared down the road. It's not just performance that the manual box robs, it's efficiency too. The V6S with the automatic gearbox gives you about 33 miles per gallon. The same car with the manual box only gives you 28. It's so frustrating. It's annoying. And yet, I can't help but love it. Okay, so compared to the automatic, it's not great on paper, but I've got to remind myself that the automatic car was incredible. So even though this is slightly worse in some ways, it's still absolutely epic. Ignore the 0 to 60 times for a second if you can, because where this car really excels is in the twisty stuff. 
find yourself some corners on a B road or better yet a track and it will just put a huge smile on your face. The soundtrack from that V6 engine is just absolutely bonkers. It sounds louder than most V8s. And like the automatic car, when you lift off the throttle, you get this little pop, bang, 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 bang. It's like gunshots, just egging you on. I was slightly annoyed that the gearbox doesn't blip the throttle for you when you downshift. You've got to do it yourself manually with a bit of feeling and towing. But when you do that, <laughs> you get this awesome little reaction from the exhaust, this bark, as if to say, yeah, well done. Brah, brah. Yeah, it's not incredibly fast in a straight line, but that noise from the exhaust plus the 450 newton meters of torque, it's a great combination. It makes you feel like you're going a lot quicker than you actually are. As for the gearbox, well, I've used better, like I said, much better. I definitely feel like I could drive faster with an automatic gearbox and some paddle shifters. This thing almost feels a bit retro, but I tell you what, right here, right now, there's nothing wrong with retro. This car's really awoken something inside me. It suddenly reminded me that we get so hung up on the numbers. What's the 0 to 60 time? What's the top speed? What kind of suspension does it use? How heavy is it? Screw all of that. None of it matters. What really counts is how the car makes you feel. I've suddenly remembered what motoring is supposed to be all about. Putting your foot to the floor. Not just your right foot, your left foot too. There's something primeval about wrestling the gears into their slot, heeling and towing your way around corners, hearing the car sing, holding on for dear life because you've only got one hand on the wheel. There's something macho about it, something that just... Fucking hell. <laughs> something that just rouses a spirit in the pit of your stomach when you're going sideways through a country lane. That's what this is all about, man. Oh yeah. And it reminds you just how good the F-Type is in other areas. The steering is just as sharp, the throttle response just as immediate, the brakes just as aggressive. Oh man, it all comes together in what is an incredible package. I love this car. I really love the auto. And I didn't like this as much at first. Oh yeah, but it feels so good. It really does. I'm sorry I doubted you. Is it the perfect sports car? Not quite. As long as the automatics around, this will always play second fiddle, at least to me. But those that insist on a manual, on taking things back to the old school, will find this thing one hell of an enjoyable ride. The F-Type just makes me angry. I feel evil. I remember driving a Jaguar.